recording? It's recording. Oh, wow. This is That Vegan Wife, and I'm here with my brother, bringing you realistic, holistic, no fads, just food, lifestyle stuff for your life. Connor is here in town with me. Hey. <laughs> Where are you from? Texas. How old are you? 17. Going on? 18. Are you single? No. <laughs> I'm not ready to mingle either. So I just got back from traveling and I actually saw him in Texas and I came back here, but with me I brought this cool magazine. This is the travel issue of Veg News. I'm going to be reading Connor some facts about veganism and we're going to get his honest, raw reaction. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you going to be on your phone the whole time? No. Put your phone down. This is just food and health facts. So wait, disclaimer, I'm not vegan at all. I eat meat all the time. Well, how about this? Are you open to eating more plants? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll eat anything. Obviously. I'll eat anything, obviously. But. I'm not particularly vegan. I don't I don't try to eat vegan. Are you ready for your You're still on your phone. <laughs> He's still on his phone. <laughs> Customers at fast casual restaurant Quadoba Mexican Eats will now receive a discount when ordering meatless entrees. So their new initiative is called the Quadoba Vegetarian Tier and it rewards diners for eating meat-free meals. What do you think about that? People getting rewarded for eating plant-based? Are they trying to promote good health? I think that's what they're trying to do. Okay, I can see the benefit of it. I know definitely whenever I eat vegan for a couple days, it kind of cleans me out. I definitely feel better afterwards. Ooh. Wow. Wow. But I still love me, so. I, I have to put that in there. So 42%, this is the percentage of Americans who say that they support banning slaughterhouses. According to a new survey by Oklahoma State University's Agricultural Economics Department. How do you feel about that? Okay, whenever it comes to surveys, I don't really trust a whole bunch of surveys. But this is Oklahoma State University's Agricultural Did Economics Department. You think that that's a sketch name? Or no, a sketch I, just, I just don't know. I would like to see more information about it. Like they survey my you generation, should. your generation, our parents' generation. Do you want to know all the details I of I want to know study? all the, yes I do. I get it. You get it? I get it. All right. I know that you're like questioning studies. It's okay to ask questions and scratch your head about things. A study from McGill University has found that soy is the most nutritious plant-based meal when compared to almond, coconut, and rice, pointing to its high levels of phytonutrients. I love phytonutrients. Further breakdown of nutrients further proves that what may be old school is still oh soy good. And they wrote it that way. But I'm reading it, I didn't make so jokes. The whole soy boy thing, I don't believe that. But this isn't about that, it's saying yeah. that soy it is, is the most is, nutritious plant I, I, I know, but you still have that fear of, of soy. Where does the fear come from? I don't know. Out of conspiracy theorists? Because you know that fear is not even real, it's just, it's just something that keeps us from doing the things that we need to do. Okay, Martin Luther King. <laughs> I am not Martin Luther King. Maybe Oprah. Maybe Oprah. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not Why Oprah. Oprah? Hi, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> So the estimated value the global meat substitute markets will reach by 2025 is seven billion dollars which is according to a report by research firm key market insights and health concerns in the popularity of vegetarian diet will drive the value of skyrocketing meat free industry up from roughly four billion dollars in 2016. so that's just saying that people are gonna like this more and more and more I have a question because I was just in Dallas. I went to this place called Cineholic, which is a vegan cinnamon roll company. Mm -hmm. All plant-based cinnamon rolls. I got a s'more cinnamon roll. She even let me try every single kind of icing that they had because I was like, I want to choose the best possible flavor combination. But I've gone to other places where they don't have vegan options, which can be really frustrating because I want to enjoy all things of life. I want my life to be the fullest it can be. And I feel like companies are missing out on a whole market when they're not providing a vegan option. Not as many people can eat there. Do you think that's true? Yeah. Companies definitely need to expand their options. When comes, yeah. When it comes to They're missing customers. money, right? Yeah. Wow, look at this. Y'all see it? So I don't know if they can see that. See it? Basically, is saying that factory farm emissions are higher than Exxon Shell and BP. Look. 
Facts. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> what do you think about this? I wasn't expecting it. You must become a man one day. So like 42% of 18 to 24 year olds say that they are concerned about sustainability of meat and or they're vegan and vegetarian. I feel like that's true. I have a lot of friends that are vegan now. What about you? At school there is a kid named Travis and he went full vegetarian because he bought a Louis Vuitton bag and it was made out of like the real leather. It felt really bad for the cow so he just went. Oh, wow. Yeah, fashion can change your life. <laughs> so, what do you feel about veganism after reading some of those facts? Tastes good. Meals seem a little bit, I don't know, complicated in a way. Yeah, but, they're a little complicated. But I feel like they'd be fun to make. It's good to know how to cook. I know how to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich with eggs. That's all I know how to do. <laughs> well, Gen Z, you go with it. <laughs> little Gen Z. I think we're done now. So anyways, if you are not following me on any social media platform, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also on the radio every week. And uh, catch me next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Why are you giggling so much? <laughs> so How old are you? <laughs>